Okay, Weston, I don't have any good comps on this iPad, but I've got multiple guys um, from Reynolds to Bryant to Fre Freddie Friedman. I'll show you all three of those guys the next time you hit who do have a very similar style to what you do. Um, but seeing it on here can still illustrate one thing. You really get into your back leg more than your back hip. And it's okay to do like a stride like that if we're into our back hip and not into our back leg. And I'll show you what I have on other iPads of major leaguers that are into their back hip, not their back leg. So you can see as you sit in that back leg, now watch your the path of your hips. I'll zoom in here. Watch how it's really extreme up and then down. And that's just a real, it makes it real inefficient to turn. Like we've talked about feeling our front side like lock out as we get to heel strike. And you're doing a better job of getting your front hip set. But we still have, you know, your head just comes up a little bit. And we get that action of up and around. And as I was going through, I'm not going to rewind through all of this, but pitches that were up and uh, I, I made sure that I threw a few that were up and it, it's a little bit tough for you to hit those just because of the, the, the movement. And I'll show you, you know, I wish I had those guys on this iPad, but with coach's eye no longer having service, I can't transfer videos from iPad to iPad, but you can really see how you get into that back leg and now it's you're getting your weight off of your back leg and how it's up and then down, and that's a tough position to rotate from. I love the fact that you've got your hands back. That's why, oops, that's why you can still hit the ball so hard from there, but it's you're just going to be so much more efficient, and you're doing a better job of getting your hip set up, but we're going to be much better at taking out that up and back a little bit up, back, and slightly around if we just get our lower half moving a little bit better. And I'll make sure I found all the clips. I'm all ready for you the next time you hit. The Freddie Freeman one, I think, will really show it because there's nothing wrong with like doing the toe tap and everything, but we want to be more into our back hip than into our back leg because, again, you can see as you get off, up, down, and that's just what makes it a little bit tough to rotate as efficiently as possible to the ball, especially when it's elevated a little bit. Again, love the fact that as you get to heel down, your hands are still back. That's great. You're doing a much better job of getting your hip set, way better job getting your hip set. But we can take out that little bit up and around action that we have if we just have our hips move more level to the ball as opposed to getting really down into that leg and then having to get out of that leg as our hips go up and down. Um, I'll make sure, like I said, I've got Freddie Freeman to show you. I've got Reynolds from the Pirates. And I've got uh, KB to show you. Chris Bryant will really show uh, how you can move a little bit more level and a little bit more efficient to the ball.